Q here. Welcome to the channel if you found it. Ah, we got a pre-shuffle here with the High Priestess. You energy. About somebody that's coming in with a... Mm, in and out, like, passionate energy. And they're coming in very swiftly to tell you something. And actually open up. Three of uh, Cups there. Communication with the sun. And perching on the back branch there. And they want to build something solid with you. At the base of this mountain. Because it's time. And they've changed how they see it. I'm drawn to the bat's eyes there. And what makes them happy. The sun here. Balanced. Balanced life is happy life. And giving them a sense of victory with an open heart. And the courage and braveness to go do so. Because they're so incredibly attracted to you. But fear's always there. Booking in our high priestess there. So let's shuffle up and uh, dive into let's do a focus reading. And then see what the divine wants us to focus on today. So, um, Ace of Cups. Feels like that's it. Uh, they see where they cut themselves short by facing that cold truth. They can see how they left themselves out in the cold via their soul. Something you can't ignore. <laughs> All right, so let's dive in. If I want you to focus on uh, protecting your passions. Yeah. The commitment is to... Mm, it's like I want to say don't overshare. It's okay to keep things hidden. Keep hidden what you are protecting and being passionate about. Um, another wall energy. It's like shields up. Yeah. The fear is the path of not, it's like setting boundaries energy. Interesting. I'm going to pull uh, another three, yeah. Divine, the Hierophant, a long, something that you've been working towards for a long time. Long time energy there. And you feel if you express these things, it won't be protected anymore. Your dream, the things that you want to manifest in your new world. And lastly, yeah, something you love. Interesting. Um, all right, let's put that down. I want to clarify further. We have the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Having to walk away from something that was divine timing because they couldn't make a decision. Yeah, they couldn't make a decision. Two of Swords. It's like an emotional immaturity, but they want to turn all that around. But while if they do turn around, make sure that you're protecting what's important to you and don't get caught up in a love bomb. <laughs> Interesting. Knight of Swords, I'm seeing there. Wants to come in and say something. All right, well, let's see. Let's shuffle up. Uh, let's do three cards and a crosser. We'll do them from the bottom. And let's see what else the Divine Universe wants to say to you. Um, there's that King of Swords that we ended on there, so I believe that'll be it. Um, don't allow anyone control over your heart. Stay free and loving yourself, and if they can come in and hold your hand and do it passionately, instead of with fear and control, the Knight of Swords comes back again. They can come in and get that fulfillment, and so can you, because they've learned what that is, and put it into the things that's from the old they learn what old things they needed to put to an end so they can actually have wish fulfillment, make tangible Ten of Pentacles, and celebrate balance life again. Interesting. What's on the bottom of Knight of Swords? Truth. Worshipping and honoring truth is that new paradigm and that new perspective that they've realized about this heartache. And they want to liberate themselves to couple with this Nine of Cups here. Those things that are hidden. Hmm. And I want to come in and tell you about how they did wrong. But they're frustrated with themselves. Emperor energy. Because they didn't make it solid. And they let things and other people get in their own way by holding back. Hmm. Interesting advice. It's like it's coming in and they want to, yet... You're being advised to, like, make sure you're protecting your passions and who you are. Always love yourself first, and then from there, you can actually share love with even the scariest of monsters. High Priestess Returns. 
Interesting. Um, all right, well, there you have it. It's a little longer than I normally do, but we're transforming. We don't overthink things or stay in our head. We transform. Transform. All right, um, but that's our focus for the day there. Uh, adult yourself with this energy and apply it where it applies. And if you find yourself in a dark space, he's got you. Um, yeah, let's do that. Ten cups into the one that makes them feel nourished. I like that. That's how I'm feeling that. The world and that night of passion coming in. Kind of got repeating messages going on. Right, I'm going to dive into uh, December's overview readings and I'll see if I can um, do individual zodiac signs as we fly through and look at the energy that's coming in for December. So look forward to those. And again, if you find yourself in a dark space, he's got you.